Cat 31, I had a request to take a look at number 41. And again, we're looking at this problem in 41 and we're being asked to solve this equation in, uh, that's in quadratic form. So we have to come up with the u sub. And just taking a look at this, there is no middle term like there was in number 37. So you, you have to guess your u and I'm just gonna go with, oops, excuse me, x minus three. And the deal is, right, if you let your u equal x minus three, what you always wanna do next is see what the squared term turns into. So what I mean by that is if I have u equaling x minus three and I square both sides, I will quite literally wind up with u squared is equal to x minus three squared. And how u subs work is you take a look at your original equation and you stop writing x's and you start writing u's. So that means right here, I can literally write u squared. All right, I don't have to write x's anymore and that's how I arrive at this equation. All right, so if I'm arriving at u squared minus four, then it's not too terrible. It's a difference of squares. So I see that u minus two times u plus two is equal to zero. So I set my two terms equal to zero using the quadratic, excuse me, using the zero product property. And let me just write that over here because maybe it's easier to see horizontally rather than vertically. So I'm getting u is equal to two or u is equal to negative two, and that's great, but the deal is when you're doing these types of equations, if you start with variable x, with, I should say with x as your variable, you need to end with x as your variable. I should say here, if you start with x as your variable, you need to end with x as your variable. So where I'm not done with this problem is I did start with x as my variable, but I'm only at u's. I've solved for u, but that's not enough. I need to solve for x. Well, the good thing is we do know what u is equal to in terms of x. So I'm going to substitute that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take x minus 3 right here, and I'm going to drop it in for u. So I'm going to back sub this. So I know x minus 3 is equal to 2 or x minus three is equal to negative two. And when I go to solve those, I'm gonna get x is equal to five, or x is equal to one, and that's what I have going on here. So again, keeping in mind, I started with x's, and I ended with x's. Did a u sub. All right, thanks so much, bye.